Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day. So I saw this ad on YouTube about sprouts in a jar, and I think it was Truly Market sells the kit for doing sprouts, uh, but I thought I could do it myself with what I have at home instead of buying the kit. So I already had these, they're alfalfa sprouting seeds. And wheatgrass sprouting seeds. And I have a jar, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Um, I'm going to use a coffee filter. So in the ad, I saw that the mason jar came with a lid that you screw on, and then the, this part of the lid was mesh. So I don't have a mesh lid to go on top, so I'm going to try a coffee filter and a rubber band. And we'll see how it goes. This is just an experiment. So in the ad, there was just seeds and water in here, and then you dump the water out and then you leave the sprouts or the seeds, and then each day you add water, dump it out, kind of like you're rinsing it and re-wetting all of it while keeping it clean. And then in a few days, hopefully, you'll have sprouts, and then you eat them. So we'll give it a try. So it should be really easy. Just dump the seeds in without making a mess. I don't know how much, but it probably just, whatever I feel like making probably doesn't really matter. So I'm just using one jar and I'm going to put them both in the same one so you can see. Let's mix them up and I'm going to add some water. They are clumping together a little bit on the inside so I'm going to grab a spoon and stir. I don't know that you need to, but I just want to make sure everything gets really moist because the seeds need to be wet in order to germinate. So I'll do that. I don't know if we need to let them sit for a few or not, but we'll just go ahead and dump the water out. So I'm going to put the coffee filter on and a rubber band. And see if that works. Oh, <laughs> that's a really slow drip. <laughs> Let me shake it. I have a fine mesh strainer, but I don't know if that would be a better option because they'll, they'll stick to that and then I have to scoop them back in. I wonder if I should poke a hole, just like a really, really small hole with a safety pin or a paper clip. Yeah. I'm going to do that. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get one. Okay. So, try to poke in the tiniest hole so seeds won't escape, but the water will. <laughs> That's not helping. Well, let me poke a few more. Try to do it fast and hard. That way I don't make the hole bigger than intended.
wonder if it would be faster if air was flowing in so the water could come out. But we're almost done. It's fine. I'm going to save this filter. That way I don't have to use a different filter each day and go through them wastefully. Keep using it as long as it holds up. I do have a bunch of seeds stuck along here, so that's slightly wasteful. I'll try to scoop them into the jar. I think next time I will put the rubber band right up at the top, top edge there. Those aren't coming off very easily. So buying the kit would probably be the easiest way, but if you wanna save money, you could just try to do it yourself. If you guys have better suggestions, let me know. Uh, but I will update you in a few days to see if we have any progress. I can't get these seeds off me. And then I'm just going to put the jar on this old lid and set them on the counter and we'll see how that turns out. Um, I don't know, well, let me see. The bag might say how long it takes for them to sprout. Oh, there's instructions right here. Look at that <laughs> for sprouting in jars. Add two tablespoons of seeds and six tablespoons of water and let soak overnight. And then thoroughly drain and store in a humid humidity, in low humidity away from direct sunlight for three to four days. On day four, place in direct sunlight, rinse and drain daily until sprouts. Oh, okay. So I should have left the water. Okay. I should have left the water in overnight. All right. Well, we're gonna do that then. Now we all know. I'll make the mistakes so we can all learn together. Okay, I'll update you either way, but this is going to sit on the counter. No, it said not in direct sunlight. I am going to put it in a cabinet and hopefully not forget about it, and we'll check on it in a few days. I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, we're back with the sprouts. It's been three days. And I think I'm going to try the mesh strainer after all, that coffee filter. Um, I didn't really like using that. So we'll see if I can do this without making a mess. We're going to dump it in here. It did work pretty well. Rinse it. it was. Okay. Okay, so we just got to rinse it once a day until we see them sprout. Or maybe even after they sprout. Until we're ready to eat them, I guess. Yeah, that was, that was much easier than the coffee filter. Alright, I'm going to put it back in the cabinet and we will try again. Actually, I'll probably just update you when it does sprout. Um, I'll let you know how many days it takes and then we'll give them a taste test as well. They're probably not going to taste very good, but they're healthy, so worth eating anyways. So in a previous video, we put these in a jar, just a random jar I had and filled it with water, left it for a few days in a dark place. Then we took it out and rinsed it. We um, drained it, put water in it, drained it, and then set it in a sunny spot. So you'll see that video come out before this one, but I wanted to, to
pick it in real close and show you that some of these have sprouted and you can see the little roots on them. The little white specks are the roots coming through. So hopefully in a few more days or a week or something like that, we will have sprouts that we can eat. Probably a week. I'll give you an update on that. And I'm just keeping it up here on the counter. Hey, so I just want to let you know that the sprouts in the jar ended up being a fail. Uh, I rinsed them out every day like, like you're supposed to and I put the lid back on them and they stunk so bad. They were so rotten after, I don't know, a week. It, they were gross. So they got dumped in the compost and we're not going to be trying sprouts that way again. I guess maybe buying the kit from True Leaf Market is the better way to go if it keeps them from getting real stinky. I know that um, rinsing them with the water um, is what's supposed to help with that. So I don't know if adding a little bit of peroxide in there too would have helped. Um, could give it another shot just to see if that does make a difference, but that jar, that jar is no good. It's dumped, it smelt bad, like take a sniff and you want to throw up kind of bad. So I just want to let you all know that we gave it a shot, it was a fail, and that's that. So thanks for watching. If you have suggestions, let me know and have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye.